Happy Thursday, everybody, on uh, May the 5th. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> uh, yeah, glad you joined us. And uh, as you know, we, uh, we've been kind of spotlighting different songwriters the last few times that we've been on. And so tonight, uh, actually this was Lori's idea. She thought of uh, this person and... Uh, a good friend of ours, Steve Richardson. Very good friend. Great songwriter, and uh, I didn't realize it till I was just pulling up some of his songs for us to sing tonight. He has been gone 10 years. Uh, he died, uh, I believe, January of 2012, and uh, we miss Steve. But uh, it's a great testament to his writing and his songs that here we are 10 years later and we're going to sing some of his songs. You'll recognize some of them. Some of them you may have never heard before. Here's one, wherever I am, I'll praise him whenever I can. I'll praise him for his love surrounds me like a sea. I think the tallies recorded that uh, many years ago. Uh, here's another little chorus that he wrote. I can touch him. He is here within my reach. I can touch him. Oh, I feel the healing flow. My faith will make me whole. Thank you. 
coffee cup and settle back and listen but he wrote some just tremendous lyrics uh, we used to laugh when Steve got up to play or sing because he had started a song and invariably the song would get slower, slower, and, slower, slower. and slower and slower as he went because he would relish every word and every chord and he he, he would use chords that uh, I'm not sure I'm playing all the right chords tonight because he used some chords that you typically don't hear in in songs, especially nowadays with modern praise and worship. Uh, here great is a song. Musician. He was a great musician. Great musician, great uh, piano player. <clears throat> I, and I, I'm going to try to sing the song I've never sung before, but it is a song that Steve wrote. And uh, I tell you what, I was singing through some of these songs today, and just sometimes the tears would come because uh, you think about the lyric and what they mean. And it was just, so if that happens tonight, uh, just uh, cry with me. Every time a nail was driven deeper in the womb, it signified the law was doomed. And every time another drop of blood flowed down, it set us all on level ground. And all that happened had a reason. It was you and I, and even in his dying, he did more than die. He took the law in his own hands. He took the nails and his own blood inside. Praise the 
Pieces that uh, you may have never heard before, but just incredible song. And uh, Steve was also the one that he actually had an idea to write a song about the mercy seat. And so he uh, came up with the idea. Jeff Harpel, our great friend who sang with us at the time, he kind of wrote most of the chorus. And then uh, I sit down and wrote the first verse. And then we got back with Steve and Steve helped us write the second verse. So this is a collaboration between me and Steve Richardson and Jeff Harpel. And uh, you've probably heard it. We're going to try to sing it. And I need lots of water. <laughs> We're so glad you've joined us tonight. And if you get a chance, share. And uh, we... We'd love to have everybody come and join us. Yes. Uh, hit the share button with all your friends. And like I said, we have been we did Andre Crouch one night. We did Lanny Wolf, uh, I think, last week. We've done uh, Bill Gaither. Um, we just decided to want to do some Steve Richardson tonight and uh, got some others on the list we want to do. I saw several suggestions today. Um, I put a little thing on Facebook, said the first one that guesses who the artist is tonight, the songwriter, uh, will give you a free CD. And uh, Doris Hall B uh, Bowman was the first one that got it right. So uh, we'll be sending her a, a free CD. She guessed that it was Steve Richardson. And uh, so anyway. But she was the only one that said Steve she, Richardson. I think she was the only one that got it right. There was all kinds of guesses. And uh, I know some of you may not know who Steve is, but you'll recognize uh, some of these songs that yes. we're going to sing here coming yes. up.
probably his most uh, famous famous one. And mercy seat, really. I mean, mercy seat's been just sung all over the world. It's been incredible. Um, I know Daystar. A lot of people have recorded that. Gaithers, Jason uh, Crab. A lot of people. Um, I want to do one more song, and this one. I don't uh, know this one. It is just a chorus, and I really don't know when Steve wrote it. I think probably later on uh, in in his life. <coughs> uh, it's just got a beautiful melody. And um, it's the last song they sang at Steve's homegoing service 10 years ago. And um, Jeff sang it. Jeff was the speaker. Jeff Harpo. And uh, he sang it. I tried to play it for him. Uh, I'm going to try to play it. And sing it without, uh, without crying through it. We'll see. I'm just one light in a dark world. But I'll shine. I'll shine. In a big world, but it's mine, it's mine. One voice with so much to be said, one heart that's willing to be led. songwriter and it still makes a difference in our lives very much so uh, so tonight hope you enjoyed our tribute to uh, Steve Richardson our friend um, he was hilarious too if you were ever around oh him he could goodness. be the funniest thing you never knew when it was just gonna um, just not, say something so funny he was dangerous to sit with during church mm -hmm. uh, I remember many years ago at our church denomination general conference one year i was the organist and steve was the pianist and uh, so we spent every service of that conference uh sitting there in church together and uh precious memories anyway be blessed have a great weekend happy mother's day to all the mothers out there yes happy mother's day and um love everybody until next time we'll see you then